We're now going to use our knowledge of adding algebraic fractions to solve an equation involving algebraic fractions. So two different methods. Here's the first method. What we can do is combine these two to make one fraction. Well, we know it would be over x plus 1, x plus 2. So what if I multiplied x plus 1 by to get this? Well, it's multiplied by x plus 2, so I've got six lots of x2. Subtracting, what have I multiplied x plus 2 to get here? Well, that's x plus 1, minus 5 lots of x plus 1. Now, that all equals 2. What I can do now is I can clear the denominator by multiplying both sides by x plus 1, x plus 2. So that would give me, well, at the same time, I'm going to simplify the top. The top simplifies to give 6x plus 12 minus 5x minus 5, uh, minus 5. The right-hand side, I've multiplied everything by this x plus 1, x plus 2. So it gives me two lots of x plus 1, x plus 2. I now simplify as far as I can. So I've got 6x take 5x is x, 12 take 5. On the right-hand side, I've got two lots of x squared plus 3x plus 2. At that point, I run out of board space. So, continuing, I've got x plus 7 equals 2 lots of x squared plus 3x plus 2. I'm now going to multiply out and simplify. x plus 7 equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Cancel out where possible. So I can cancel an x here. And I can take away 7 from both sides as well to leave me with 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. At this point, we're going back to our much earlier work on factorising quadratics. This will factorise now to give 2x in one bracket, x in the other. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to give minus 3. That's going to be 3 and 1. But we want 5x altogether, so we're going to have plus 3 here and minus 1 there. Because 2x times 3 is 6x take away the 1x. Well, now we have either this part is equal to 0 or the x plus 3 equals 0. So we have a solution of 2x minus 1 equals 0, which would imply x equals a half, or we have x plus 3 equals 0, which is implying x equals minus 3.